And that brings me to another point. When we have a child in the house, this is for those men who are married, who have children. And don't worry, the women folk, your turn is coming. You know, a lot of the men must be thinking, this man is blasting us. Don't worry. We start with those who are right near here. A lot of people are guilty of not understanding what is meant by pregnancy and what is meant by bearing a child. A lot of men don't understand that. And what type of difficulties a woman goes through in order to bear your child and immediately after birth we show disinterest in that same female. Why? Because she's got a little bit of fat now, a little bit of flab on her belly, for example. She's got three or four more stretch marks there. And she probably might not get back into exactly the shape she was. It's a fact. So now what happens, a lot of men then, after the first child or two, their eyes begin to wander here and there. And they start saying, oh, this woman is so pretty. Look at that woman. Why are you hurting the feelings of your own wife? It is haram in Islam to praise another woman. It is haram in Islam to praise another woman in the presence of your own spouse. Why would you like to praise another woman? For what? Especially speaking about her figure. We are not even meant to be looking in that direction. Imagine a woman who got married to you and she was in quite good shape. You made her pregnant. Really? And she got your child. And after bearing your child, you now want to praise other women. To say, no, those women have a good shape, you know. May Allah protect us. These are matters that need to be spoken about. Because a lot of people need this. A lot of people don't even know that in the Sharia, we are taught all these issues. You cannot just lose interest in your spouse solely because now she's given birth. If she has given birth, do you know how high a status of a woman who is pregnant is and the status of a woman who is giving birth is there are so many evidences from the sharia to prove her status but i want to give you one if she passes away in the condition of pregnancy or in the condition of childbirth she will get paradise without account without account of her deeds she's forgiven totally and she's given paradise straight through the green root so to speak imagine if allah almighty is telling the woman that for you to endure childbirth your level is raised so much that if you were to die in that condition you will go to paradise and we as men are sitting and thinking it's a big crime. You know, why? Because now I don't like what she looks like after she gave birth. I am repeating this because it is happening in many, many homes. And a lot of the times it is happening silently. 